congratulations on the film, guys. Thank it was you. so much fun to watch. And Lee, this was your first time directing. So what was that like? And Lynn, for you, what was it like to be a part of that? Uh, well, for me, directing, it was, it was nerve wracking. I think that I had built up a picture in my mind of what directing was like that was probably far from the truth. <laughs> I, uh, there was a lot of fantasy involved. I thought it involved elves and things like that. But uh, I actually discovered- It does. Yeah, it, yeah. it does. Um, the Christmas version. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I discovered it, 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 it's really fun. I mean, I guess that's why everyone wants to be a, di a director. That famous line that actors always spout off, you know, what I really want to do is direct. <laughs> There's a reason for that because because directing is, it's, it's so fun to steer this ship. I mean, filmmaking is storytelling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for better or worse, the director is the guy saying, here's the where we're going with the, the story. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, as a writer, you kind of have to take a back seat and watch someone else steer the car. So it was kind of great to finally, you know, take the wheel myself and, and say, okay, I'm going to be the guy making the decisions. Um, and it was great, especially it, working with Lin Shay. <laughs> and I mean, for me, it was, we all wanted Lee. I mean, from the very beginning, when I knew there was going to be a third one, that was the first thing that, you know, I didn't know whether James would do it or not, of course, but we all wanted Lee because there was, that was, it was Aww. time for that, new, you know, for that, that new energy to come mm -hmm. into it as well. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, Lee was totally fantastic to work with. The first day, we were all nervous. I was nervous. I knew he was nervous, but he didn't really show it as much as I did. <laughs> I think I was more nervous just in general because it was a big responsibility for me too, never having had as big of a responsibility. And not only was it a franchise, but it was a, a role that really required a lot of uh, focus and emotionality. And, and anyway, Lee totally put me at ease immediately. I just knew it, the first scene we did this little thing, which isn't in the film, where I'm in my rose garden. And it was just a simple little, but there was just even then, like giving me, because he's also a performer and actor <laughs> as well as writer and director. Mm -hmm. And he's going to learn to tap dance and be uh -huh. this is great, lover. The, right, great, lo great lover. Great lover. I'm Australian. Yeah. The, the part oh, of the right. the part of the human brain that deals with praise, Australians don't have. Don't that. have it. No, so I, I just want to hide know. under a rock right. right now. Which is why I keep doing it. I want to. <laughs> she's no. torturing me. Yeah. You think she's being nice, but really she's like, take that. You prick. No, but it really was. It, it made it made it fun too because we already had a relationship mm -hmm. on you know on set together for as writer and as actor and actress mm -hmm. and um, it was it was totally it was kind of a delicious experience with lots of you know always lots of ups and downs long long days mm -hmm. lot problem solving but it's great when you have a great partner to, to solve the, cr the crime and the problems with. So. <laughs> yeah. And you're in the director's chair and you're acting you're acting as well but do you guys ever get actually scared yourself on set? Getting scared on set's hard because you're usually surrounded by you know these guys, they're like, you know, 250 pound grips, you know, holding camera equipment <laughs> there. Equipment yeah, the, the scariest thing on a film set is, is the clock. You know, <sighs> when you stare at that clock and you realize, what, it's five o'clock mm -hmm. already? Like, we only have, you know, two more hours to get all these shots. That, that There's so much pressure that it distracts you from anything. If anything, it's the opposite problem where you're shooting a scene that at, in the end is going to be really quiet and intimate mm -hmm. and supposedly mm -hmm. scary and you're wondering, is this going to be scary? Because right now, standing on a set with boom mics everywhere and lights everywhere, it doesn't feel scary at all. So you, you have a hard time projecting into, the, into that theatre mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at some point, you lay the music down and you kind of watch the film and you go, OK, we're there. Mm -hmm. You know, we got there. You definitely got there. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, you both definitely got there. Thank you guys so much. Thank for you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you.